hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video let's learn a python program that is write a python function to check whether a number is in a given range so given a number and given a starting and ending range so your task is to write a python function to check if number is within the given range so that is a problem statement so let's try to solve this so let me define a function that is a check underscore range to check the number defining a function my function name is check underscore range so this is my function and uh, we have to pass three arguments to this first is a number and then second is a start and the end so this is the starting and ending range so that i have given so once we define a function so we have to compare or check if the number is between the starting and ending range so for that i'll use an if statement if let's use a start variable and it is less than or equals to the number and it is less than or equals to the end so this is the comparison that i am performing if the number is between the starting and ending range so you have to return true yeah so that means function returns true else what you have to do is for negative scenarios just return the false yeah so this is a simple python function to check whether a number is in a given range so in the main program so let's ask a user to enter three variables that is first is number and next is starting and ending range so let me take uh, variable n and use the input function call and ask a user to enter a number yes yeah, so once the user enters a number so let's convert these to an integer type and uh, yeah so we have to get the starting and ending range so let's take another variable starting this is starting underscore range equals to so let me ask a user to enter the starting range so let me copy the same and uh, paste it over here so let's say enter a starting range and uh, we have to get another variable that is uh, ending underscore range so let's uh, copy paste the same and here let's say end range yeah so these are the three values that uh, we require for the program so yeah so once we get three values we will call the function that is uh, function name is check underscore range so for that let's take a flag so this is a boolean flag so let's call the function check underscore range and we need to pass three arguments to this that is uh, first is the value n and the next is starting range and another input argument is ending underscore range yeah so this is the method to call the function and uh, store the boolean value in the flag so once we get a boolean value so we have to check if the flag is true or false so for that let's use another if statement and if flag is true so then what you do is just print the number is in the range yeah so this is for the true and if the flag is false so let's take an else statement and let's print number is not in range yeah so this is a complete python program or the python function to check whether a number is in a given range so let me execute this and let me show you how it works so enter a number so let's give three and it is asking enter a starting range so let's give five sorry zero and uh, let's give 5 as an ending range so you can see number is uh, number is in the given range it has printed closing it so let me run it again this is a second run so enter a number so let's give 50 
and enter the starting range is 1 and the ending range is let's give 100 so you can see the number is in the range it has printed yeah so let's uh, again run it so now let's try for something like negative scenario so let's say enter a number so let's give 1000 and uh, starting range is 1 and the ending range is something like 100 so you can see the number 1000 is not in the range between 1 to 100 let me run it again and uh, here so let's give some negative value that is minus 12 and uh, starting range is something like uh, let's give some positive 1 to 15 and you can see the number minus 12 is not between the 1 and 15 the program prints correctly yeah so this is a python function to check whether a number is in the given range or not so i'll give this code in the description of this video so that's it in this video hope you liked it thank you for watching bye